Tonight, residents on Plum Creek Road here in Armstrong County say they've been stranded after two days of constant rainfall. They say the flood levels have reached over five feet high and their efforts to contact township officials have failed. Flooding has been an issue for years on Plum Creek Road. Residents say they're demanding township officials find a solution. Homeowners acknowledging they live in a flood prone area, but it doesn't have to be. I know it's a flood zone, but they can fix the problem by cleaning the creeks like the state used to do and add, build this road up. Tom Ishman and his family tell Pittsburgh's Action News 4 that the township is more than aware of the issue. Not only have they called the township, but a township truck actually got stuck on Plum Creek Road attempting to drive through the high waters. They know they have a problem here because they put a road close sign up there. If I have a mean dog, I put beware dogs up, meaning my dog might bite. So they know the problem because they put a road close sign up there. But a major issue at hand is safety. I mean, I literally have to walk with a walker or a cane on, in a wheelchair. There's no way that I can even get out right now in that current the way it's moving. I'd, you know, be down river someplace. John Walker is bound to his wheelchair and calls this constant and flooding disruptive to his life. It affects me quite a bit. I mean, even if I was like now to have a trip or a fall, um, how are you going to get a fire truck in here? How are you going to get an ambulance in here? Um, how? I mean, I'm literally going to lay in there until this goes away. There are also multiple elderly residents and children now landlocked until the water clears out. We have about 16 people over in the hall over here can't get out. Now residents do tell me that the water here does disappear within two days time as long as it stops raining, but they're still hoping for a better solution. Reporting from Armstrong County, Yasmin Rodriguez, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.